what what are you doing to sanitize them? So, Melissa, you enjoyed riding with us, and you know the experience of a call and realize all the different parts of it. One of the things that's very different now is we have to make the truck ready instantly for the next patient to ensure their safety and lack of possible contamination or exposure to COVID-19 or any other type of strain while people are figuring it out. So we've done some very unusual things. The front door in the ambulance, I'll show you, is taped shut. It's sealed shut so that no air can go backwards or forwards to help protect everybody, the front of the truck or the back of the truck, in relation to transferring any type of coughing, aerosolized medicine, whatever it may be, um, and contaminate those people. But when we get to the hospital, we have a special, very small sprayer that we're able to use and spray immediately on all the open surfaces to kill any potential kill any possible in the um, chemicals uh, that would remove any disease that may come up. And while they're figuring out all the different aspects of COVID-19, we're not saying one way or another solve every problem. What we're telling our patients is we're making the truck ready for our crews, our personal safety, and their personal safety by spraying it down with a special 3M chemical that is made to kill everything that could possibly have you contaminated. So it's a two-part process. One, a brief cleaning at the hospital to make it ready. Many of our calls come in while we're on the way back to the station. And then when we get back to the station, not only do we decon this truck, but we also decon all the areas where our crews are, food areas, sitting areas, computer areas, everything, to ensure that we're providing the safest atmosphere for our crews and our patients as possible. Once do, you mind, do you mind telling me what some of those chemicals are that you're using? I'm going to show you right now. So as you can see in this paint spray, we have um, a CO2 cartridge, which has um, a 3M, 3M chemical, which has basically a chlorine and a peroxide mixture. And I can't tell you exactly what's in the particular breakdown of it, but what we're trying to find here is that we can kill possible, not just COVID-19, but anything that may be related to having our patients or crews exposed to something. So again, it's a two-part process where we spray. And I'll even have the deputy show you what it looks like. So we're using a CO2 for propellant, standard hose, paint sprayer. Then we have the formula right in there. And we're, we're just going to go up and down inside the handles. Any touch point that we're specific, uh, we'll do the handles, we'll do the seats, we'll do the stretcher. So we'll work from front to back. Uh, we'll do the outside handles. Anywhere where we think we have touched, um, and do a full cleaning, and then we'll close the doors and we'll wait about 10 minutes to dry, and then we can be back in service. Um, this is at the station. Um, on the other side, we actually have a temporary. We'll, we'll call them around here real quick. <laughs> so the issue came up is that we have the thing that I just showed you at the station, which is crazy. It's a little bulky, um, and it's unsafe to put in the truck. So we decided we came up with just a standard handheld paint sprayer. Um, same chemical in here. You can plug it into the truck. And while we're at the hospital cleaning up, spray the truck at the hospital. And then um, give me some power. And then we can clean this at the hospital. That way we're, we're coming back to the station to clean ambulance. And all of that does, same thing. It's this nice fine mist. Hold on to it's not too bulky, um, it's safe. We can keep it in our cabinet of the truck, wrap up the board and on our way. So, Mick, am I correct in assuming that you rigged that up yourself? This is something that you created on the spot, kind of a thing. So, actually, our maintenance uh, crew over Hanover Township made the ones that you just saw that's on the little trolley or the dolly, um, yeah, bed and all that. They made those for us. So, when we got those, we got the idea let's get something a little smaller. And this is what we came up with. So we have one of these on each of our trucks. Wow. Um, so that's not what it's intended for. So you're you're just using it in a different way. Do you right. have enough of those? How, 